Hello and welcome everyone to this short video on the topic Types of Electric Drive Configurations Used in the Manufacturing Industry. In this video, I will make you understand about the types of configurations from an electrical design perspective and when to use which type of a drive configuration. If you have been working in the maintenance department or as a part of a commissioning team for any automation project or service team for any company or if you aspire to be working in any one of these fields then this video is specially for you and it's going to be very helpful in sharpening your understanding about drives used in the manufacturing industry from a practical perspective also if at any point of time walking in the control room or shop floor if you have been wondering looking at those closed cabins of drives about what's inside and how it has been controlling the motors or your applications then this video is specially for you so without any further ado i will advance to the next slide which shows the two major types of configurations being commonly used in the manufacturing industry so first one is the single drive configuration which you see quite commonly and the second type is multi drive configuration which is not very common and is not very easy for many of the people so now let us understand what does these um, both configurations mean so let's first understand what is a single drive configuration so in terms of application, uh, this is specially suited for needs of single motor applications where you need to control the speed of a single motor and a single application. So the single drive is essentially a compact box which comprises of rectifier, DC link and inverter. And all these, uh, broadly these units are compacted into a single unit. So the rectifier uh, converts AC to DC and then this DC is converted to AC using an inverter. Uh, moreover, further details about these individual components and working principles are explained in another video on this channel, uh, on the same channel with the title VFT Basics. So I would request you to please do watch that video in case you are having uh, troubles in understanding this video or if you want to know more details or the basics about uh, these drive components which you see on screen. Now this kind of a setup that is single drive configuration is very common in individual and independent applications. This type of configuration is commonly uh, used in discrete manufacturing setups where uh, you might be using a single drive to run a single motor. And examples could be a mixer application or a pump application for lubrication systems, hydraulic systems and so on. Next, let's uh, look into what does multi-drive configuration mean. So as you uh, see in the figure, there are different components, uh, but broadly speaking, uh, you have uh, the supply unit, which houses a rectifier, which converts AC to DC. And this DC is fed into a common DC bus bar. And this DC bus bar feeds DC voltage into all these individual inverter modules or also called as industrial drive modules. And these drive modules are individual individually connected to the separate motors so in a sense in principle this dc bar is used to supply to multiple drive modules and these inverter modules convert dc to ac which is fed to the motor and all these uh, modules are uh, essentially housed inside the cabinets which we will understand in the further slides so in terms of applications uh, where can this uh, multi-drive configuration be used? So it can be used in applications where multiple motors or drives form part of a single mechanical process. For example, uh, steel rolling mills or paper uh, production applications or wherever you have coiler and uncoiler applications. Meaning you have multiple motors uh, and the process is common. It's a single mechanical process. Secondly, applications where coordinated uh, coordination between individual drive motors is required and this leads to a better speed and torque control. Uh, means where multiple motors coordinate to work for the same function. 
example uh, in conveyors or rolling mills if you are familiar with those applications uh, there you have uh, multiple motors uh, which are running the same process and applications where you need speed control and tension control of the process uh, their multi drives are commonly used the next point is common supply enables implementation of overall safety and control functions this means that because the supply is common for all the drive modules and motors this enables overall safety of the system in case of any power fluctuation or fault in input power the common uh, supply can trip to protect, protect the entire system the control functions are also coordinated for example since all the motors are running the same application you will never uh, you might uh, quite frequently need to switch on or off all the motors at once right instead of doing it individually one by one so having a common supply uh, enables you to easily do that so as an example in uh, rolling uh, uh, applications for example in paper rolling uh, there are individual motors that needs to be controlled as a complete system because the speed needs to be coordinated amongst all the motors because paper is being rolled at a same speed so multi drive systems in that case offers fast communication of torque and speed signals amongst individual drives to have effective control over the speed and tension now what we see on screen is a real architecture of how multi drive configurations are used in industry applications and how the modules are housed in cabinets or inside the control rooms so very broadly uh, you have two units so first part that you see is the supply unit on the screen where my pointer is and then you have the drive units the supply unit is uh, nothing but uh, a re uh, rectifier which converts ac to dc and then you have a drive unit which converts dc to ac and supplies to all these motors and in terms of uh, going to the next level of detail you have uh, the first cabinet which is acu short for auxiliary control unit this simply converts the 230 volt ac voltage into 115 volts or 24 voltages which is used for the control uh, circuit or the control supply of all these drives this is used for control controlling the relays and the control boards and all the control signals uh, for all the drive units and the supply unit the next cabinet which is the icu uh, also called as the incoming unit this cabinet generally uh, contains transformers and a circuit breaker so this part that you see is a circuit breaker which is used to switch on and off the incoming supply and the next uh, cubicle is the drive supply unit or uh, many people refer to it as tsu or isu which stands for thyristor supply unit or inverter supply unit so this uh, converts the ac power into dc power and then this this feeds into a common dc bus bar so these two lines that you see is the common dc bus bar these are um, common for all the inverter modules and then you have all these cabinets where you have inverters and these inverters feed ac power to the motors now in case you have a question of why multiple inverters are being used to feed a motor so this is a common uh, scenario that exists exists in typical applications so in case the current rating or the requirement of a motor is more than what is the capacity of one particular inverter module you can have a combination of uh, multiple inverter modules two or three inverter modules to supply to a single motor so if i were to give a very simple example in order to explain you uh, let's suppose the maximum current of this motor is 100 amps and if the current rating of this inverter module is 50 amps so 50 plus 50 will make it 100 and feed it into the motor so this is a very uh, simple example uh, although there are many much more details when it comes to inverter sizing but uh, in principle this is the concept the combined rating is used to uh, feed the motor and then you have the drive control unit this is used for uh, controlling the, the drives so uh, in these cabinets you must be seeing the remote terminal which is used to set parameters or look at what is the voltage voltage frequency or the speed at which the drive is running so this is uh, also called as uh, 
the RDCO unit and is used for uh, configuring the drives. This is mostly for control purposes. So the application where uh, these kind of uh, multi-drive configurations are used is uh, one of the applications is steel rolling mills. So if you are familiar with the application, uh, it has an uncoiler uh, and you have the steel coil loaded in this uncoiler and this uncoils this steel sheet feeds into a mill. This rolling mill is used for the reduction of the steel sheets. So if the input coil is of thickness 4 mm, this will reduce it to whatever is the requirement, maybe 3 mm or 3.5 mm, depends on the application and the requirement. And this final product gets coiled. So in this case, you need to have a coordinated control. So the speed of this entire line has to be has to remain same. And also you need to maintain a particular tension for the rolling to happen. These are the critical to quality parameters, speed and tension, which impacts your final output. Hence, in these kind of scenarios, uh, the multi-drive configuration is used where you will have a common DC bus bar and then this will uh, feed to the motors which are used for running the mill. So in terms of one particular advantage that is that it offers is so there is a tension maintained so always this coiler will be pulling the uncoiler. So in terms of power requirement if let's say the speed of coiler is uh, uh, 30 MPM uh, the speed of uncoiler uh, will be 20 MPM. So coiler is pulling the entire setup. So this is the one that needs more power. And this motor always runs in a regeneration mode because it is being pulled. So it, it produces power and feeds back to the DC bus bar. So this is one of the key advantages of this setup because uh, this uncoiler is always running in regeneration mode and this is feeding power back to this bus bar which is being utilized by the coiler. So with this uh, you also have a lot of energy savings that is coming out of this particular configuration. And of course other advantages such as you have better coordinated control uh, by the virtue of having fast communication between these drives. So in terms of uh, some key benefits that is uh, derived out of this particular configuration, you will have uh, significant savings in cable costs, maintenance and installation costs because all these units are compacted in drives which are closely uh, spaced. And then there is of course savings in space and then you have reduced line currents. This is very important. This comes by virtue of having a common supply unit and a common uh, DC bus bar. Um, and hence you don't have multiple uh, rectifier units uh, because of which you have reduced line currents. And then the next important feature which I explained in the previous uh, slide is energy circulation can be used for motor to motor braking. Now if you have an individual drive setup, generally uh, when braking of a motor happens, it generates huge amount of power uh, due to inertia of the motor which is fed back into the system. So generally to avoid the a drive to trip there are additional brake choppers or braking res resistors uh, which are deployed to absorb this extra energy during regeneration. Now the advantage of having this multi-drive setup is you don't need to have a braking chopper or a region or uh, a resistor because the additional power which is being fed back into the DC bus bar can be used by other motors. So you have a uniform DC voltage across the application. So these are uh, some of the key benefits of this setup. Uh, with this, we have come to the end of this video. If there are any doubts, feel free to put it in the comments. I'll be more than happy to answer those. And if uh, any part of the video was unclear or any, if you have any doubts regarding the same, please do feel free to comment and please like and subscribe the video. Uh, thank you so much.